Autonomous AI agents have become a big part of many people's lives as many have implemented these agents into their workflows to ease off their day-to-day -day tasks. Throughout today's video, I would like to introduce Auto Agents, a framework for automatic agent generation. We have covered multiple different types of autonomous AI agents such as Super AGI, Super Agent, as well as Rivet, and many others. However, many of these models lack the ability to generate different roles for GPTs to form collaborative entities for complex tasks. You are able to utilize this model so that you can autonomously generate multi-agents so that it can achieve whatever goal that you set. Now let's just take a look at a demo video so you can get a better idea as to what Auto Agent is actually about. In this demo video, we can see that the user is inputting the room temperature for superconducting uh, material and they're asking if the LK99, which is the new material that was actually uh, discovered, is a reliable source for this room temperature. And we can see that the agents are collaboratively working autonomously to figure this out. It, you can see that it's incorporating different types of agents, such as a question answering agent, you have the manager, the agent observer, the material science expert, as well as the language expert. And we can see that as we continue forward, it incorporates different agents that are best used to figure out and solve whatever question that you have asked it. And this is one of the great things about this autonomous AI agent as it doesn't require one agent to figure out whatever task or it doesn't require uh, like basically one small input of an agent to give you a solution for your overall problem it ends up utilizing different types of agents which we saw in that video uh, we will also take a look at a couple other examples as to how they're able to do this but in the gist is it utilizes a multi-agent framework which utilizes many different types of custom agents to figure out and solve whatever task that you have and now you might be wondering why not just use super agi or many of these other types of autonomous ai models well the thing is many of these agents do not have the ability to have this multi-structure of utilizing custom as well as multiple different ai agents to solve whatever problem that you have this is something that we're going to take a look at throughout today's video as we'll go more in depth as to what auto agent is actually about what you can actually do with it as well as accomplish with it i'll also be showcasing some of the features as well as the use cases and we'll also be going more in depth as to how you can install it locally on your desktop so with that thought guys make sure you stay tuned throughout the end of this video and let's get right into it Hey, what is up guys welcome back to another youtube video at the world of ai as i mentioned at the start of the video we're going to be taking a look at what auto agent actually is which is an experimental open source application designed to be an automatic agent generation based off of different large language models whether that is chat gbt llama or many of the other open source models now this program is powered by the llm technology and can autonomously generate multiple different agents to help you accomplish a wide range of goals which we'll take a look at throughout this video now before we go more in depth to the research paper as well as taking a look at the framework let us actually take a look at how you can install it locally on your desktop now this is very very easy uh, what you need to do first is install the prerequisites so make sure that you have git installed which is an application that will help you install any sort of github repository onto your desktop uh, make sure you have visual studio code this is going to be your code editor and lastly make sure you have python once you have these three requirements fulfilled we can get forward into the installation if you guys would like to access our patreon page in which you can get exclusive features subscriptions to ai tools for free uh, you have daily AI news being released over there as well as a lot of networking and collaborative opportunities over there. If you're interested in all of that, definitely take a look at this link in the description below so that you can access it. If you guys haven't followed World of AI on Twitter, I highly recommend that you do so so you can stay up to date with the latest AI news. And lastly, make sure you guys subscribe to notification bell, like this video, and check out our previous videos so you can stay up to date with the latest AI news. But with that thought, let's get right back into the video. So first things first, what you want to do is open up command prompt. Once you have this open up, type in git clone 
and you want to copy this code over here which is the link for the repository paste it make sure that there is a space over here so paste it click enter and this will start cloning the repository onto your desktop once this has been completed what you can do is go into the auto agents file this is by typing in this command pasting it into your command prompt once it has finished once it has finished cloning what you need to do is go into the auto agents file and that is by typing in cd auto agents and click enter once you have clicked enter you're going to be in the auto agents file and you need to start installing the requirements for it and this is by typing this command into your command prompt and what this will do is start unpacking the different types of requirements that are needed to install this so this will take a couple of minutes to a couple of seconds depending on your hardware but once this is finished i'll be right back what you want to do next is open up VS Code and you want to open up the file that you recently just downloaded, which is Auto Agent. Once you have opened that up, you need to start configuring and inputting your API keys. It's fairly easy. You can do it within VS Code by creating a new file and configuring it so that it has this command. Uh, you need, just need to set your open API key. You're able to do this within any of the configuration files that are set within VS Code, which you can go through over here. Or you can just go into your command prompt and copy this exact code that they have given. Input your file. And from this, you're able to set it and export it for your API keys within Auto Agent. So for the people who do not know how to do this, you can just click on configuration on VS Code click on config.yml if you're going to be utilizing the open ai language models you just need to input your api key over here as well as the api base and you're able to host it off the local host which you can get over here once you start it up so this is the command to actually start it up onto your web host uh, you're also able to start this up using docker image it's fairly easy to do this you just need to start this into your docker container and you'll be able to open it up on your local host in your browser and it's fairly easy as that if you're going to be utilizing azure you can input the keys over here if you're going to be utilizing the search engine optimization for generating any sort of content with the autonomous agents you can input your a google therapy key as well as your google api key and the other recommended keys that they have provided over here and that's easy as that you just need to then save it and you're able to start running it with the command over here if that this command doesn't work you can easily do it with the main.py which will start it up fairly easy on over here now coming back to the comparison with other autonomous ai agents we're able to see that there's multiple different frameworks over here we have AutoGPT, Baby AGI, Generative Agents, and so many others such as MetaGPT. We covered a lot of these, and AutoGen is a very recent one that we just covered. Now, the thing is, uh, this benchmark showcases the comparison between these existing proposed frameworks. We're able to see that AutoAgent has checked the mark on generating agents dynamically, uh, the, whereas the other previous models such as AutoGPT aren't actually able to do this. We're able to see that they have unlimited number of agents working together. You have a multi-agent conversation feature, which allows the autonomous agents to chat with each other. You have a self-refinement agent, which AutoAgent has, as well as a collaborative refinement action, which allows all the agents that have worked on a topic to come back and refine whatever proposed uh, generation that they have basically worked upon which many of these other autonomous agents haven't even checked the mark on that category and this is what puts auto agents to a new level and it's something that i really wanted to cover in today's video because it is quite a reputable framework for a lot of people in generating these autonomous ai agents now some of the cool features as well as the use cases are is that you can use it as a planner you you see that it determines the exact roles to be added for a specific execution plan and this is something that we saw in the demo video where it found the best agents that are needed to solve that answer uh in that case they wanted to find if the semiconductor is feasible so they used a scientific agent to help process that query uh, secondly you have the tools feature which has a set of different tools that can be used currently only compatible with the search tool and that's something that we covered with vs code you're able to utilize 
uh, different search engines to help find and process generation. You have observers which are responsible for reflecting on whether the planner as well as the results in the execution process are reasonable, currently including reflection checks on the agent plan and action. And this is something that we talked about in the research paper, which basically allows the agents to collaboratively focus on refinement actions so that the output of whatever is generated is at the best quality. You have a range of different agents, which is an expert role agent generated by the planner, including names, expertise, tools used, as well as the LLM enhancement. Another feature is the plan in action, and these are just the execution plan that are composed, as well as the specific actions for the expert roles. And these are some of the lists of different features that are associated with auto agents. Now, here's another example. You can see that it basically showcases how auto agent works it starts off with a user input like an idea for a novel for example it they has started off by saying write a novel about the awakening of artificial intelligence so what happens is that it is then sent to the planner agent and there's a team of specialized virtual agents that are incorporated within auto agent so that it can plan for how they'll work together to basically solve this user input now these agents then collaborate to follow a plan and actually write this novel it actually utilizes the api costs to formulate this novel and while they were at work, you're able to see that there's an observer who watches over the agents and the plan. And what this does is that it makes sure that everything is running smoothly, makes sure that the plan is being uh, like operated accordingly to what the user input is, as well as making sure that there's an action observer so that all the actions of the different agents are being fulfilled. And that's basically how you're able to get this output with this collaboration of these multi uh, autonomous agents. And that's basically a gist of today's video, guys. It's a really amazing framework in which you can incorporate into your workflow. It's fairly new. It, it was just released, I believe, this week. And it's something that a lot of people have been incorporating into the workflows already. Now they have, I believe, uh, a demo in which you can start doing many different things you just need to input your open ai key as well as your therapy key now in this case you can show me code snippet as an example uh, explain option trading make a content strategy write a novel and so much more and this basically opens the gateway for so much as you're able to fulfill many of these hard manual tasks that you might have in your day-to-day -day work front but that's basically it for today's video i hope you enjoyed this video on auto agent it's an amazing uh, framework that's all about automatic agent generation which is something that we haven't necessarily seen in this scope so if you're interested in this i'll leave all the links in the description below make sure you check out the patreon page if you want to access our private discord as well as many of the other features that i mentioned before if you guys would like to follow world of ai on twitter i highly recommend that you do so so you can stay up to date with the latest ai news and lastly make sure you guys subscribe turn notification bell like this video and check out our previous videos so you can stay up to date with the latest ai news but with that thought guys thank you guys so much for watching have an amazing day and i'll see you guys fairly shortly Peace out, fellas.